So this is a cubic equation and we need to try and solve. So we need to find all the x values. Now there should be three of them. Okay, so let's remember that. Three x values. Now if it was a quadratic such as x squared minus 8x minus 11, you would use the quadratic formula and you would find two answers. However, there is not a cubic formula. So what's quite weird is when you have a cubic and you have to find the x values, or if it was a graph, those would be the x-intercepts, you have to guess the first value. So you choose x values and you keep choosing until it equals zero. Now the numbers that I would suggest that you choose would be 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. The reason it will only typically be those numbers is because in an exam they don't want you to waste time. So they're not going to make it the number like 19 because you're not going to sit and guess 19. <laughs> so, so what I mean now is you type this on your calculator something like that, it's like a little template, and then you can just plug 1 into the place of x, and you keep going until you get a 0. Okay, so if you plug in 1, it doesn't work because you end up with negative 14, so that means that 1 is not a factor of that. If you plug in 2, it doesn't work. Alright guys, so eventually if you carry on with this, if you plug in minus 1, it gives you a 0. Okay, so x equals to minus 1 is our first answer. But now when we need to factorize a cubic equation, you need you you need to have a little bracket in the front and it will be x plus 1. It's always the opposite, right? For example, if I say what is if I say you had x minus 3x plus 2 and I asked you to solve for x, you would say x is 3 or x is minus 2. So when I take it from this and I put it into bracket form, it's always going to go in the opposite. Okay. Now, what would we have left over here? We would have some type of trinomial, but we don't know what it is, so we just say a, b, and c. Okay, now our goal, so what we've done, let me just explain so you guys understand. We've taken this and we're breaking it down piece by piece. So we've taken the x plus 1 away from it, or we've taken that out, and so obviously we would have a trinomial left over, because if you did have to multiply these two brackets together again, you would have to end up with an x3. Okay. Now the goal is to try find the value of a, b, and c, so that if you had to multiply these two brackets together, you would get back to the original expression. So the easiest ones to look at for the first part is a, and then you should look at c. So a will just be 1. The reason I say that is if you had to multiply those two together, it would give you x cubed, which is what we had in the beginning. The next one to look at is c, and so that's going to be it would be this one multiplied by this one should give us minus 6. And so c would be negative 6. And so now we've used the x3s and we've used the coefficient, we've used the constants. So now to find b, this is the more tricky part. You are allowed to choose either the x squares or the x's. I'm going to choose the x's. So we know that the x's, the coefficient of the x's should be minus 8. So you say minus 8 equals, then you look at this one and you ask yourself, or you, you ask yourself, if you had to multiply these two brackets together, which two would you have to multiply together to get an x? Why do I want to know for the x's? Because we've chosen the x's. And so this x could multiply with this minus 6, so that would give you minus 6. And then you could take this 1 and multiply it with that, and that would give you plus b. And so then we can solve for a, I mean for b, and you would end up with negative 2. And so then I can rewrite my expression as x plus 1, x squared minus 2x minus 6, and that's all equal to 0. Then what I can do is I can factorize this part, because that's now a normal quadratic. So I can factorize it using the quadratic formula. And so for this bracket, we know that x is minus 1. And then if you use the quadratic formula on this, you get two more answers. And it's going to be x equals to 3.65. And then the other one would be negative 1.65. And so there's the final answer. And so I just want to quickly explain that when finding the x values of a cubic graph, you guess the first value. You keep guessing these types of numbers. And what we found was that x is equal to minus 1. 
To put that in bracket form, you have to reverse it so it will become x plus 1, and then you try figure out what the coefficients should be, a, b, and c. Once you have a, b, and c, you end up with a trinomial, and we can we know how to find the x-intercepts of that, or the x-values of that. We can either factorize, if possible, or we use the quadratic formula. And so there we end up with our three answers. The first one was the one that we guessed, and then the other two we got from the quadratic formula.